the Toledo three. Forget about it. They was the toughest wise guys around. Nemo Motzkowitz, Luigi Del Pino, Spider Vance Finnegan. They didn't get any tougher than that. Smarter, sure, but not tougher. This week on American Law, the Toledo Arena. In 1976, the warring factions of the Toledo underworld made an uneasy alliance when three of its most feared figures joined forces. These men, Luigi Del Pino, narcotics, prostitution, and sale of goat pornography. Nemo Moxquitz, numbers, racketeering, and poaching. Joey Spider Veins Finnegan, gambling, counterfeiting, and purchasing of goat pornography. Detective Andy Guggenauer. Neanderthal, brainless, cowardly, psychotic murderers, and worthless, thieving scumbags who don't deserve to live on this earth with other human beings. I mean, with people like that on the police force, it's no wonder we never caught any gangsters. I knew all those guys when they was kids. Nemo was always bright for his age. He was what you would call prick. Precarious. One time, his dad was late on his allowance, so he had me go over and break his thumb. That was rough on Nemo's dad, you see, because he tested lighters for a living. If Moskowitz was known for his ruthlessness, then Joey Spiner Vane's Finnegan was known for his brutality. That's why they called him Spider Veins, because he had spider veins. But he wasn't the only wise guy to wear support hose, if you know what I mean. One time when I was making fun of him, did a wise crack, shoved a pin through my neck. That's why they call me Jimmy Neckhole. Before that, I was Jimmy Kidney Hole. Before that, I was Jimmy Spleen Hole. Before that, I was Jimmy Lung Hole. Before... spider Man's was really into dwarf tossing, and when they made that illegal, he found his cash cow. He made secret tossing joints all over Toledo, and I quit when he wanted me to take a dive, you know, not get thrown as far as I could. Well, when I told him, he stuffed me into a gym bag and used me as a club to beat up a guy named Jimmy Neckhole. Luigi Del Pino, however, traveled an even sleazier road to success. Del Pino's daughter, Cynthia Del Pino. Sure, Dad made a lot of money off of porno movies and prostitution. But you know, I think if he put a lot of money back into the community by purchasing porno movies and prostitution. But Del Pino's spending days were coming to a close. Joey and Moskowitz decided to take Luigi out. When I found out about it, I asked Joey how he planned on doing it. He says that he wanted to do it the same way he did that neck hole boy. It was beat him with a midget in a bag. And I said, Joey, that's too personal. This is business. And when business is business, you've got to shoot him. But you know, if they ever found out I was telling you this, my life wouldn't be worth squat. Hey, Mises, Mary, Mother of Sorry. God, what the... Here is a secretly taped phone conversation that helped put Moskowitz and Finnegan away for life. Oh, no. Hello, Petey. I need to uh, talk to Joey. Yeah, okay. Can I put you on hold? Oh, 
on the highway. Although Moskowitz and Finnegan are still waiting for parole, perhaps next time they will think twice about breaking the American law. <laughs>